Kitchen High. If you guys were doing Henry's Kitchen, you know him. You love him. It's Henry and his, and his kitchen. Ah, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Everybody, just let Henry soothe you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making Henry's party time jalapeno poppers. <laughs> jalapeno poppers. We're being irrational. <laughs> today will not only teach you how to make the recipe, but we will also be delving into some of the rich history behind this ubiquitous snack. It looks Start like a party or yeah, it does. Jalapenos to some boiling water. Is that how you, you make jalapeno poppers? Three minutes. I've never made jalapeno well, poppers. I've never eaten them. So far. I can't believe how many this was recorded in 2021. We're just going to transfer our jalapenos to a bowl of icy cold water. Fucking A. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Let's lay them out on a paper towel to dry. This guy's responsible for COVID. <laughs> okay, so for this next part, it's absolutely <gasps> essential that you wear rubber gloves because jalapeno peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin. And you do not want to get that on your hands. Oh my god. They're inside out and ripped. <laughs> this glove's a little small, but it's going to have to do. I just take the seeds out and stuff, cook so rice and beans, char them on the grill. The Ooh. Board. 240p, baby. <laughs> now we're just gonna cut this a is a nightmare. Our jalapenos lengthwise. Put the so gloves on, put man. Stuffing in too. Please put the gloves on. Put the gloves on. Put them on. Now we need to scrape out all the insides, including the seeds, and especially what's called the placenta, which is the part that contains all the capsaicin. Sometimes even with the gloves, you can still get some irritation. You're irritating me, bro. You're irritating bad. me right now. You fucking oh, idiot. Put these in the fridge for a bit. Skibs, thank you for resubscribing for four months. Four months in Banana Town. At okay, tier so three. Stuffing, I've got You're crazy. Of Philadelphia cream cheese here, and we're just gonna pour this Dude, out fucking. Oh my god. And I'm gonna add some Misspelled capsaicin. <laughs> Today's my birthday. Happy birthday, noob. And let's stir it up. Latrell, hello. You know, I've had a lot noob, of happy birthday. Recently, if I've ever Fuck, a whisk? It's actually a great question, and it reminds me of how when I was eight years old, my family went to a farm in Amherst, Massachusetts, and I went to the roof of a barn, and I jumped into a six-foot pile of cow dung. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm literally stuffing my cheese mixture into our hollowed-out jalapenos. It's okay, man. And we're Don't just gonna transfer do it. Them back onto our Rinium, thank you for raiding. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Okay, so now we're just we're in the midst of watching Henry cook. Plate. Welcome. First, we're gonna close up our I'm sure Banana is good to see you. Rinium, thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, guys, please go follow Rinium. This is so sweet. Thank you guys awesome. for coming. Hi, hi. How was your okay, stream? So I just want to warn you that this next part contains some graphic Fuck, this is so fucked up. Overwhelming. Thank you for following. Okay. Shift assembly line. Why is he doing this like this? Hell yeah, Ultimate. Some milk and some Japanese panko style breadcrumbs. I also like to add just a little bit of stroked pampika to liven up the flavor. Pampika. Motherfuckers okay, so always doing pampika. Look at that one, it's fucking it's emaciated, dude. Fuck up. So we're gonna start by dipping it into the egg wash. Dude, he barely dipped that. Ah, ah. <laughs> then bathe it in the milk, and then douse it in the panko. <gasps> Dafka, thank you for gifting us up, this deputy. You know they used to say that jalapeno gave people diarrhea, but that turned out to be an urban wives' tale. But if you're worried about what is this diarrhea, this doing? probably isn't the best dish for you anyway, because it's got milk, flour, and eggs. 
So if you're lactose intolerant with celiac disease and gastroenteritis, it's kind of like hitting the jackpot. Bro. Jackpot. Fuck it, I would eat it. Okay. If your friend's heart stops, would you run Pampico on his help? This guy's voice giving me the creep. That wasn't a dip for fuck's for sake. Thirty minutes, four hundred degrees Fahrenheit. She says she wants to Uber home now. Cause you're just not her type of guy. What is happening in this video? She still wants to be your friend, and if she meets her Mr. Right. Maybe you could help uh, her move her stuff when she moves in with him. Okay, looking good. Let's just transfer these onto a plate here. What the fuck? This is the best. They look horrible. Well, if you're serving these at a party or a gathering, Mace Capri I guess we'll really appreciate it if you include some kind of sauce to take the heat off. I like to use just a little bit of sour cream. Let me see, man. Ultimate cave mod that you were following. Party time jalapeno poppers. A little spicy, but not bad. Thanks for joining us here on Henry's Kitchen, everybody. And as always, I want to thank the patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for always making these videos possible. From all of us here at Henry's Kitchen, which is really just me, have a great march. Hang Dude. With you. Roast beef? Is that roast beef? The cat is roast time. beef? Dude. And that's why she just wants to Uber home. I'm mortified. Bro, I'm dead. That was horrifying.